Another way that you can create pretty URLs within your bubble applications is by setting a thing slug. Let me show you what that means. So here we are on a project page and this project is utilizing the dynamic content from the unique ID. But if we were to set a thing slug, it would then take this place. And so you'd have a pretty name here instead of this unique ID. Let me show you. So we're going to say test project, then it's going to create the slug and then send that content to the page. Now we see that we have our test project name here instead of the slug itself. So on the back end, what we're doing is we're creating our project. We're on step two, setting the thing slug. So we're pulling the results of step one, and then we're taking the results of step one, the name and using it for the slug of our dynamic content. And then finally, we're going to that page and sending the data that we just created to that page. And so instead of using the unique ID, it's now using the slug in the URL, which makes it so your URLs are just a bit better looking. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and then you start using slugs within your applications. And if so, please follow me for more.